Hello, my name is Brian Johnson, and today I will be showing you how to rekey a standard residential Schlage deadbolt. Um, this uh, deadbolt does have the SC1 keyway. It's one of the most common keyways you'll find on a lot of homes. Um, even some businesses use it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get right into it. Okay, here is our standard residential Schlage deadbolt. The first step you're gonna want to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver and take out the screw that is holding in the cylinder. Now if you have one of these nice pinning mats right here it makes it easy to organize things. You can just take this screw, kind of just set it to the side for now. Pull out your cylinder and you're gonna to wanna to use this tool right here. This is for taking off the end caps. There's a little pin that needs to be depressed that is holding in the end cap. This right here kind of fits into the grooves nicely while depressing the pin, which allows you to unscrew it. I'll do that now. Now, if you don't have one of these tools, you can just use like a broken off pick or really anything small enough to depress the pin. So you're gonna to wanna to take the tailpiece out and the end cap and just set that to the side for now too. Now you don't wanna lose this right here. A lot of times, you know, when you're starting off, you'll forget about it, send it flying, and then you'll lose it. So take the, the pin out first, and then there's gonna be a spring as well. Okay, so now you have your cylinder. The next step is going to be to take your working key, stick it in there, turn it 90 degrees, and then you're gonna use this plug follower to keep all the top pins and the springs up so they don't go flying. Just press it against the back of the cylinder and do it slowly, you don't wanna mess this up and just kinda of pull it through like so. Take that, set it aside, pull out your working key. You can just dump the pins out. I'm not gonna be using those. So the next step is going to be to take your gutted cylinder and load it with new pins to match the new change key. So you're gonna have to figure out what each depth of the cuts in this key are so you can put the proper pin in it. Um, you can use one of these gauges right here. Basically, you just slide the cuts in and it tells you what the depth is. You just start right there. It looks like it's a three. Moving on, five seven, three, and seven. Now, not in all cases, but in some cases, if you're using a factory cut key, they'll often stamp the code for the key right there. So this key does in fact have the stamp, so we'll just base it off that. So if you are using a universal pinning kit like myself, you're gonna wanna navigate to the Schlag table and you're going to want to look, for example, if the cut on the key is a one, you're gonna to wanna to use the 0.18 bottom pin. If it's a two, you're gonna to wanna to use the 0.195 and so on. It's pretty simple. And uh, all right, let's start loading up the cylinder. Okay, so we're gonna to wanna to take our key and stick it into the cylinder. The first number on our key is going to be a three. So look at your Schlage table. 3 is going to be a 0 0.210 pin. Take it, put the pointy side down because these are Schlage pins and the bottoms of them are going to come to a point. The next stamp looks like it's a 5. According to our Schlage table, it's going to be a 0 0.240. Let me find that. Pointy side down. The next Stamp is going to be a seven. Um, Schlage table says that's going to be a 0 0.270. Next, we have a three. That's going to be a 0 0.210. And last but not least, we have a seven. So go ahead and take that pin and stick it in there. 
So now that we have a nice sheer line with the pins, with the new key inserted, we'll take our plug follower, put the cylinder right against it, and basically just undo what we did earlier. Push this through, careful not to let it slip and make the top pins and springs go flying. And you can turn it to kind of test it. Don't pull the key out quite yet. Um, make sure that when you do pull the key out, you kind of push against the cylinder or else you'll pull the whole thing out and cause yourself a lot of, a lot of issues with having to reload the chamber up top. Okay, now we are going to want to put the tailpiece back on. So take the spring that we took out earlier, insert it into the little slot, take the pin, put it in there as well, and then take your tailpiece, put it on there like so. Now if you have this tool, which I do recommend, it makes things easier, especially when putting it back on. I kind of like to reverse it so you don't cross thread it, and then turn it clockwise, tightening it up. And you'll kind of feel it stop. That usually means it's good. Now take your key to test everything to make sure the tailpiece is tight enough and the key comes out right. Looks good. All right, so you see it's not pulling out all the way. That means the tailpiece does need to be tighter. So sometimes when I'm making small adjustments, I will use a broken pick to press the pin, tighten up the end cap, realign it so it's fastened in there take your key try it again turns nicely pulls out nicely here's the old key no longer works and here's the new key okay last step is going to be to take this and put the cylinder inside put your screw in there oh, if i can get it in there Take your screwdriver, tighten it up, and there you go. That is my tutorial on how to rekey this Schlag standard residential deadbolt. I will be releasing another video showing you how to rekey a um, standard Schlag knob. Um, I will also get into other things such as automotive ignition. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you have any questions, and um, yeah, have a good